There is nothing more enticing to a straight man than a beautiful woman. But according to different cultures around the globe, not every man lives by the same standard of beauty. From women with large feet and filed pointy teeth in Bali to the lip and ear stretching rituals in parts of Africa and South America, it's easy to see that beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Curious about what men find attractive in different parts of the world? Let's kick things off with Bling Ring. We've all seen images of the Korean women in parts of Myanmar and Thailand who wear heavy brass rings around their necks. The seemingly odd practice of the Padang Long Neck subtribe makes a woman more attractive to the opposite sex in that culture, because they see it as a sign of beauty and wealth. Although it may appear torturous to many Westerners for a woman to undergo the lengthening of her neck, these rings are the ultimate accessory. According to the Peoples of the World Foundation, the weight of the rings pushes down the collarbone as well as the upper ribs to such an angle that the collarbone actually appears to be part of the neck. Cayenne women begin wearing the rings by the age of 4 or 5, with more rings added as they become accustomed to the weight. Calling all single dudes of Myanmar, these ladies are rocking up to 25 pounds of bling. But our next set of seductresses know you don't need to sparkle to flash that sex appeal. Nose Job Hijab Nose jobs aren't that uncommon in the United States, but Iran has become the rhinoplasty capital of the world. Their women are so proud of going under the knife that they'll keep wearing their bandages long after they're needed. Some ladies wear surgical tape even if they haven't gone under the knife. Because women's bodies and hair are covered by a hijab and it makes no sense to spend money on clothes, women want to put their money where their nose is and what eligible bachelors can actually see. Azar Nafisi, author of Reading Lolita in Tehran, told ABC News, Women have become more fashion conscious because they are deprived of it. Every woman likes to be happy, likes to be secure, likes to look good, to feel good. Iranians are no different. Okay, cool, but what if he's more of an ear guy? Earlobes for days Members of the Maasai tribe in Africa are known for their practice of wearing heavy jewelry made of stones or elephant tusks to stretch their earlobes over time. As time goes by, a woman's status in the Maasai tribe is heightened by how elongated her earlobes are. To draw attention to them, Maasai women adorn them with brightly colored beads and jewelry to attract attention to their impressive size. Pucker up, buttercup! Many Americans might consider a lip plate a form of body mutilation, but to a Mercy or Surrey woman in Ethiopia, it signals a female has reached childbearing age. The process includes the removal of the two lower front teeth before a piercing is made to allow heavy clay or wooden disc to stretch the lower lip. Like ear stretching, larger and larger discs are inserted over time to further elongate the lip. The larger the disc becomes, the greater the beauty, as it signifies maturity, which is considered very attractive by the males of the tribe. Inked Maori women in New Zealand have traditionally adorned a tattoo on their chin to snag their men. The sacred tradition is known as tamuku. Each muku is different and includes ancestral tribal information specific to the wearer. The muku also displays the woman's family and tribal affiliations, as well as her social status within her tribe. While both men and women are tattooed, the main reason for women to tattoo their lips and chins is for beauty. Blogger Katie Wake Ramos, who travels the globe studying beauty in different cultures, says, They are tattooed on their lips and chins, and the more fuller their lips, the more beautiful they are considered in their community. The practice has changed over time, but it is still a major draw for a Maori man. Dr. Nahuya Te Awekotuku, a professor of psychology at Waikato University, explains, Tamuku today is much more than a fashion statement. It is about who we are and whom we come from. It is about where we are going and how we choose to get there. Full Figured In the African country of Mauritania, drought and famine is common, so for a time, being overweight became a way for men to determine a lady's prosperity. A heavier woman became so desirable that girls as young as seven were sent to fat farms and urged to eat in order to put on weight. The BBC News reported some of these girls at fat farms could end up weighing between 130 to 220 pounds. In the report, Layla, a woman who had been fattened as a child, revealed that the practice was losing its popularity. She explained, Traditionally, a fat wife was a symbol of wealth. Now, to be beautiful is to be natural, just to eat normally. Bollywood Babe Men go crazy for Indian women who rock nose rings, bindis, and henna to make themselves more attractive, especially on important occasions such as weddings or festivals. Cosmetic company L'Oreal notes that the Indian culture has always considered beauty an expression of godliness and something to be revered. L'Oreal said, While eyeliner, jeweled and dyed bindis, and henna stained hands and feet have defined beauty for centuries, Bollywood presents another facet of Indian beauty where color, shimmer, and gloss are the order of the day. Despite the size of the country and its regional diversity, this Bollywood-reinforced pan-Indian ideal of beauty is based on very specific criteria. Fair skin, a silhouette with feminine curves, big expressive eyes, and long, dark, shiny hair. Le birthday suit There is nothing more appealing to a Frenchman than the au naturel look on women. While many cultures choose heavy makeup, many women in France opt for the natural look. 
accentuating their natural beauty with muted and warm tones. French makeup artist Violette told Vogue, What we want is to be ourselves, not a better version of ourselves. We think, what style can I have with this face and with this hair? To look their best with minimal makeup, French women work hard to keep their skin in great condition with creams and other cosmetics. Violette says, French women treat their base as best as they can. We try to have amazing skin and an amazing body and amazing hair, so we don't have to do too much else. And speaking of that sexy confidence… Slay on, girl! No matter your culture or where you come from, remember that what makes a woman especially beautiful and attractive is her ability to be her unique and special self. No man can resist a woman who is comfortable and confident in her own skin, so embrace who you are, both inside and out, and own your place in the world. This, ladies, is true beauty. And all of us can agree on that. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.